Oh, hey, Soundwave, what's up? Not much. Oh, that, that's interesting. Hey, I got some packages to open. Do you want to help me out? No packages, only trophies. Well, I mean, it's it's fan mail. I don't... They're, they're not really trophies. Only trophies. Why are you obsessed with trophies, my man? I didn't really say much in the movies. There's not much to quote. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, pursue them. Retrieve it. Uh, uh... Uh, eject. I, I might have said that at one point. Um, uh, 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 uh she has the shop. I'm gonna leave now. Good, 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 just, good. Anyways, yeah, we got some P.O. Box stuff. First up, we have a letter here. I'm being very lazy and just covering up the name. It's Landon. Uh, it is, uh, it's got the address and has Force Waken stickers on it. It's got Pulp. It's got Kilo Run. It's got Chewbacca. It's got... Falcon, he's got Snow Trooper, he's got Kilo Rubbin again, he's got Boba Ed, it's got x -Wang. then if we flip it over, we got ourselves a little Boba Eight, then Captain Fism, and then Snow Trooper, and then Ray, and then that, that's my cat, I named my cat after her, and then there's others, pretty cool, anyways, let's get it, let's get this open and see how cool it actually is, I'm gonna try to keep the envelope though, because I want to keep those stickers, so let's try not to... I, w I should just get... So <clears throat> I was hoping Loot Crate would have done it, but Loot Crate kind of went... And uh, I don't have the sponsorship anymore. Uh, I was hoping they, were, they would send me like a letter opener at some point. Someone needs to send me a letter opener. Um, or I should just buy one. Maybe I should just buy it. It's probably the better alternative. Oh, this is like a... Uh... Oh, look at this. It's like a... Uh... Um, like a coloring book page. Oh, it's supposed to be Davin Felth. That's cool. Um, Davin Felth was the guy who was like, um, uh, look, sir, droids. They seriously gave that Stormtrooper a name. Yeah, he's got a gray arm. That's interesting. Then on the other side, we've got Boba Fett with a pretty unique color scheme. Hey, he's got he's got a nice shoulder pad. Just in time for Pride Month. <clears throat> Alrighty. What else we got? Dear JCC224. <clears throat> <clears throat> Mr. Two, but you're all right. I've been a fan of your channel for a while now. You got me into collecting clones. I enjoy watching your videos. You're a fan, Landon. P.S. Read on camera. Of course. I read everything on camera. There's not been anything that I have... Anything that I've gotten in the P.O. Box, I have put on camera. So if you sent me anything and you haven't seen it in a video... I mean, if you sent it recently, I may have not, you know, uploaded it yet or anything. But if you sent me something a while ago and you never saw it in a video, I must not have gotten it. Because I have, I have shown off every single thing I've gotten in the P.O. Box from fans. And then right here, also from Landon... Aw, look! It's a 212th Commander. Aw, that's so sweet, man. I really appreciate it, Landon. Thanks for, thanks for the love, and the stickers, and the coloring book page, and, uh... The very proud, the very proud Boba Fett. Aw, alrighty. Anyways, we got, I'll give this package a 2 out of 10. But funny fact, you see that tape right there? That means we're covering a mistake. Oh no. I gotta, I gotta reveal your mistake, AJ. I'll give this package a 2 out of 10. <laughs> got him. Alrighty, and then on the other side it says, not from Amazon Prime. Noted. Alrighty, let us... I feel like I sound really tired in this video. I don't know why, I just, I'm kind of tired. I mean, then again, I'm always tired. Like, working is hard. Alrighty, so we have paper stuff. A lot of paper stuff. That's a lot of paper, man, oh my gosh. Um, is there a letter? That's a lot of paper. <laughs> Dear JCC2224, I've been watching your videos when you made uh, your All Bumblebees video. Um, like the big old Bumblebee video. I love that video. And I thought it was kind of hilarious. Um, it was hilarious. But congrats on 22,000 subs. And I hope you like what sent and you inspired me to collect clones and transformers. Keep making videos and may the force be with you, AJ. P.S. I sent some pictures of my collection and my, co and my costumes... And parents think that I have enough Transformers. I showed yours, and I got more Transformers. 
And of course, I'm recording this for P.O. Box. That's one way to do it, man. Your parents are like, you already have enough. And then you're like, but this guy has so many. And look, he's turned out perfectly fine. And they're like, oh, okay. I do not want to send any trash or bad stuff. I hope you like what I sent. I got you and Optimus Prime, the original version at Comic-Con. And I love it. That's awesome, man. Which legendary toys do you like better, Optimus Prime or Bumblebee? Legendary Toys LTO2 Optimus Prime is my favorite Transformer in my collection. I love music label Soundwave. He has he holds a lot to me and he means a lot to me, but when it comes to like being like an awesome amazing toy, Legendary Toys LTO2. I'm Can you hear that freaking There there's late one night. There is like I swear they were drag racing down the street. It, it was it was a freaking drag race, I swear. I'm starting my own YouTube channel, and if you can, you could uh, react to it. I don't do reaction videos, but I'll definitely, uh, Autobot AG, I'll definitely check it out, and I'll link you down in the description. I was looking for a Commander Cody Phase 2, and there was one that was, what, $2,000? <laughs> I found a Lego Commander Cody um, on the ground um, outside of a gas station. That is so cool. It's like the one clone my friend Jason found on the side of the street that was completely destroyed. I had a Mark 43 Iron Man. I dropped it, and it broke into pieces, and I put it back together. Oh, that's cool. Hey, it's kind of like what the Mark 42 and 43 does, isn't it? I use harpies for all. Uh, I use sharpies for all my customs. That's cool. Sharpies aren't bad for uh, especially starting, but um, acrylic paint's probably the best. Oh, it looks really cool. I am Iron Man. Oh, my Iron, Man, Iron Man Mark 85. Oh, he died. I'm so sad. John Wick! <laughs> I need guns. Lots of guns. <laughs> Freaking John Wick, man. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love those movies. The Terminator. I'll be back. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. Oh my gosh. The Terminator. Oh, Optimus Prime. My name is Optimus Prime. Look at that. That's actually really cool. Did a pretty good job on that one. Oh, my boy. It's my boy. Commander Cody. Um, someone has been... Uh, someone has been... Listen to what I've been... Someone has been listening to what I've been saying. I guess he said that in the Clone Wars. It's been forever since I watched it. 500 first. Dude, I kind of like the style you've got going on. Like, you should... like. Honestly, like, you should you should keep making them really, like, long and thin. It looks really cool. Like, something about it. It's just an interesting style. Like, you could pose them up, and they're all, like, caricatures that are long and thin. I actually... You don't see a lot of people that draw characters like this. That's actually really interesting. I mean, you're definitely showing some artistic promise, man. Oh, that's an Airborne. That's pretty cool. And then we've got... Oh, Commander Bakara, a favorite of mine. I love Bakara. He's su he's such a such a mean guy, but I love him. If any clone trooper is actually a jerk, it's Bakara, not Fox. Oh, that looks really good. I love the silver sharpie. Last night, Optimus Prime. Dude, you really have some promise, man. You really have some promise. Oh, then here's the two hundred twelfth. I can't promise I'll be able to hang all of these up <laughs> because I have fan art that I hang up. I don't think the, this is a lot. You sent a lot. Uh, I don't think I could hang all of these up, but I'll try to hang up uh, some of my favorites. I'll definitely keep all these around, though. I'm not going to get rid of these. Clone. Oh, Commander Wolf. Dude, really cool use of the Sharpie there. I like that. And then his Captain Rex. Oh, that's cool. The Captain. Is that like a metallic blue Sharpie? That's really cool. Oh, yeah, this one's one that's getting hung up. For sure. Thousand percent. Tartakovsky Commander Cody. Oh my gosh. Scene from the show, yeah. That is a thousand percent getting hung, uh, hung up. Oh, Captain Fordo, my boy. My second favorite clone character. And a sergeant. That's cool, man. Dude, you did them all. I used to do this when I was a kid, too. Blue Commander... One. You, scr you scratched it out, so I'm guessing I shouldn't really pay attention to that. There's a lieutenant. Did you? I don't remember... I always forget how to spell Lieutenant. You might have spelled it right. I'm sure you probably did. There's a Commander. It looks more like a Captain, though. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it is a Commander. I remember when I was a kid, yellow marker always kind of turns out darker than it's supposed to, doesn't it? Then Captain. 
Well, then here's Cody Phase 2. Oh, yes, baby! Yes, baby! Captain Kill Shot! That's definitely getting hung up. <laughs> it's my boy! And then Commander Devis to round it out. That's probably one of the better ones, man. I really like the style. Like, I like how you have them all kind of blocky and thin. Like, it's it's an interesting style, and I really like it. You have a style going on, and not a lot of artists have a style. And then there's something else in here. There is. Oh, these are the pictures of your collection. Oh, that's a really cool custom, man. Custom little Storm Shock Trooper. Then you've got a red Iron Man, it looks like. And then you've got... Oh, that's a cool... Did you make that? That's really sweet. Jason Voorhees. And then that's the Terminator. That's a pretty cool little one. Then there's Last Night Prime, which is a really great figure. I want to get the Reaper labels. Dude, that's your collection? Oh my gosh. I love how you have that displayed. You got all those Optimus Primes, too. Oh my goodness. That is amazing, AJ. Oh, and then this looks like a... Oh, it's actually made from the uh, Dark of the Moon one I just did a video on. You can see because has like the head. Looks like he kind of did a little bit of a custom work there. That actually doesn't look too bad, honestly. That honestly doesn't look too bad. Dang, man, that's some good stuff. But there's also figures. So let's take a look at this and round it off. Alrighty. So first up we've got... Hey, look, it's a black Spider-Man. Oh, that's really cool. I'll put that with my random Spider-Man stuff. I appreciate that. I am Spider-Man. I like him. He's kind of nice. I don't know how, how he... Blah, blah, blah. I don't know how he was released, but I'm sure it was somehow. And here we have... Oh, this is neat. It's like a custom uh, First Order Snow Trooper. I dig that. He's cool. Yay. So let's say him there. And then we have... Oh, this is cool. That's pretty neat. Oh, did you customize this? You did. You completely customized the color scheme and made it like the stealth Iron Man. That looks really great. Dang, I actually thought that was legit. And then I saw kind of like the crevices how it's still red. Besides those crevices, man, which those are really hard to get to with a marker. You need paint for that. Um, but besides that, that looks legit. That looks really good. I thought that was real for a second. And then we have... Oh, oh you know what? I think you made these. You ma Yeah, you made these black. Yeah, I can kind of see it now. Then this is a black... Um, uh, like, Marvel Superhero Squad Spider-Man. Those are cool. And then... <laughs> Dang it. You should have sent this to me like a couple months earlier, because I really needed a Lego Spongebob, and I didn't have one, and I bought one. I bought one, and here you are sending me one. It doesn't have the right legs, but that's no biggie. I probably got like short legs I could use. Here's a Lego Spongebob, right here. Dang it. <laughs> that's still really cool, man. That is That actually is different from the one I ended up buying. Oh, here's another... Oh, yeah, this is the one that came with the, uh, like, the Kinder Eggs. Dude, like, he did this, too. This is a custom paint job. That's really good. Those are really good. There, let's put him there. And then, I think this is going to be it. Oh, it's just the base. Happy he came with the base. I actually do have the normal Iron Man, but I'm definitely going to display that next to it. That looks really good. Some of the marker is going off on my hands, though, but... That's just what happens when you uh, have markers. Definitely, AJ, um, your, like, your marker works amazing. But if you want a tip, um, definitely look into upgrading to paint here soon. Because paint, um, it's actually kind of nice to work with in some ways. Like acrylic paints you can just get at Walmart, Apple Barrel paints. Um, you definitely want to like thin it out a little bit. Um, you might want someone to help you out because I wish I had someone helping me out when I first started painting because some of my first paint jobs are not good at all. But yeah, uh, awesome, awesome stuff, AJ and Landon. Awesome stuff. So this is just a nice little P.O. Box unboxing and just some nice fan mail. We got some nice fan art. Then that's kind of AJ's stuff. And then here, let's show, let's show this from Landon. Let's show 
let's show the pride Boba Fett. There we go. I don't know if it's supposed to be Pride Boba Fett, but hey, you know, it's Pride Month. And if you're like a part of the community and you watch my channels, I absolutely love you and keep being you. I fully support you. Go Pride Month. It's great. Anyways, yeah, there we go. There is this P.O. Box unboxing. What do you have to say, Soundwave? Blah, blah, trophies. I'm sorry, Soundwave didn't have much of a character in the movies. I really have nothing to go off. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> Here's this P.O. Box fan unboxing. Um, I'll definitely up, uh, you know, hang up some of this stuff. You sent me a lot of art, AJ. You sent me a lot of art. I'll hang up some of my favorites. But um, I appreciate all this stuff. And I'm honestly, I gotta say, man, those Iron Man figures. The Spider-Man, like you, like you saw, I took it out and I couldn't even tell it was a custom. <laughs> I just thought it was like a black Spider-Man. You, you're really talented, man. And I love, I love your art style. Like, you, you got, you got some stuff going on, man. I mean, you could really, you know, you know, mature it over time. And as you get older and you might, you, you got a future here, especially those, these Iron Man. Like, look at this. Look at that. Does that look like a custom to you? It doesn't look like a custom to me. It looks better than legit stuff. Honestly, he did such a good job on that. Oh my gosh. And like, look at the head on this one. This is just a McDonald's toy, but look at that. Like, look at how clean the lines are. He did such a good job. And then, thank you as well, Landon. I I, I, I just, I love P.O. Box fan unboxing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just, I love it. I love it because it's like, I get to see like, you know, random weird toys. And then I just get reminded that fans of all ages watch my YouTube channel and it's kind of crazy because I was, I was you guys. I used to be a Landon and an AJ that watched YouTubers when I was younger and I, you know, I was into it and then I kind of was, now I am one and it's really weird. <laughs> Do I recommend being a YouTuber? Probably not. Um, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's fun, but a lot of people kind of get into it for the wrong reasons and I can tell you, my, my older videos when I was a kid, like, if for, for some reason, YouTube just does not, it, it doesn't compute in, until you're a teenager at the very least. Uh, but anyways, I, I just, I love this, you know, I love it. It's humbling, it's great, and I just, I'm so thankful and passionate. And a P.O. Box unboxing like this is just as, like, exciting and great to me as one that has, like, leader class hunt for the Decepticon star screen <laughs> or clone troopers I'm missing you know it's it's just as exciting to me I love all this stuff um but yeah there we go guys there's another one uh, let's just let's just put this g1 flavored sound wave right here because gosh I love that look at him he's such a pretty boy there we go uh, make sure to comment like and subscribe if you want to send anything in the PO box absolutely anything at all um it will be shown on camera unless of course it's I haven't come across it yet, but I feel like maybe one day someone's going to send something like really lewd or weird, and um, I, I, I won't be able to show that. I, I won't. So if, you, if you're thinking about sending something like that, just trying to be funny, I, I will probably have to uh, regrettably not show that in the P.O. Box. But so far, so good. I've been able to show every single thing I've gotten in the P.O. Box over the past, I think, couple years. I've been doing this for a couple years, I think. Wow. I've been rambling long enough. Uh, <laughs> make sure to comment, like, blah, blah, blah. I already said all that stuff. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you in the next video, and adios. Goodbye.